Welcome to Jerry Recaps. The story continues. The family of Tang Maolin walked out of the forest, and the small hidden village was completely presented in front of them. The family looking from a distance saw completely different people in front of them. One of them ran quickly towards the village. Not long after, four or five men walked out of the village and walked in the direction of the little girl's family. The people on both sides were getting closer, and the young man headed by the four or five men suddenly froze for a moment. His face immediately showed excitement and joy, and he turned back and shouted, Big Sister is back. Big Sister's family is back. The man ran towards an old earthen house. Inside the house, there was an old man sitting on a chair. He was Sien village chief. He was crafting something from wood. Just as the young man ran inside the house, the little girl Nan Nan came running after him laughing excitedly. Grandpa, I missed you so much, said Nan Nan. She ran towards the old man nonstop and slammed her head right into the old man's stomach, resulting in him releasing a mouthful of blood. Oh my dear, said the old man. Grandpa, how have you been, said Nan Nan. The little girl had a slight bruise on her head. The old man, without caring much about the pain, gently caressed the girl's head while replying, I am pretty good. Father, we are back. Tang Maolin and her wife entered the house, as they greeted the old man. Tang Maolin shouted with a complicated expression. The last time he saw his wife's father, the eyes of the other party were bright, and he sat like a dozing liger. But now it has become cloudy, and the whole person seems to be very old. While the two greeted the old man, two boys came rushing from inside the house. Brother-in-law, sister, why did you visit suddenly? Asked the boy. The old man interrupted saying, They both have come to visit me. You guys should go hunt something in the mountains. We should have fun tonight. The boy nodded at the old man's order. The young man brought Nan Nan along with him. She was excited to go hunt together with them. Little girl, let's go catch some wild animals, said the young man. The little girl excitedly replied, I want to have quail soup like the one I had last time. What's going on this time, tell me. The old man waved the others away, leaving only the Tang Maolin and his wife. The old man knocked on the cigarette stick on the stone steps. The woman's expression turned confused as she looked at her husband to explain. Tang Maolin's eyes widened as he gulped and looked at the old man before explaining. Later, they explained all the mishaps they had been through and the strong spiritual master, tailing after them. It took them some time to explain the whole situation. The old man coughed a little after hearing the situation. Level 3 How did you provoke a level 3 spiritual master? said the old man. The old man sneered and said, I knew there was nothing good for you to come here. Since you broke into the stockade and took Ming Hua away, I guessed that there would be such a day. Tang Maolin's face was a little embarrassed. The woman shouted softly, Father, please help Maolin think of it as helping me. Tang Maolin gathered his strength to speak, Father, I heard you have been trying to advance to rank three spiritual master. Have you accomplished it? He was still embarrassed asking his father-in-law for help but what could he even do in the face of an absolute strength? The old man snorted, was silent for a while, and said, I failed and incurred some hidden injuries and suffered great damage to my cultivation as well. Now I can only use soldiers to block the water and cover the soil. Anyway, in this old age, I have no hope of being third level in my life. If that third level spiritual teacher really finds the stockade. You take your whole family and run out with the people in the stockade, and I will resist for a while. You guys should go find someone else for help. They were a little surprised by what the old man said. They have not even imagined finding someone else for else. They could only depend on the old man. The young man couldn't help but say, Father, who should we ask for help? Who to look for? Of course, the government and the police. The old man's eyes widened. He picked up the dry tobacco stick and slapped the young man on the head, and scolded angrily, in a legal society, even if he is a third-level spiritual teacher, can he still kill people in the street? The young man smiled shyly, holding his head and daring not to speak Tang Maolin's face was not optimistic. 
He knew very well that Wu Shijing, the purple-eyed magic spider, did things like killing people in the street. Moreover, the people in the stockade have been closed in the mountains for too long, and they have no idea how much privilege a third-level spiritual master has. If calling the police had helped, he would have done it long ago. Tang Maolin and the others were about to leave the earthen house when suddenly someone hurried in and said a few words in the young man's ear. After the young man heard it, he said to Tang Maolin, The villagers who just went out hunting came back and said that they encountered outsiders breaking in on the road. Tang Maolin's heart sank instantly. Both the old man and the Maolin's eyes widened, with sweat pouring down their faces. Lu Xing was carrying a backpack, like an ordinary mountaineering tourist, following behind a few villagers, looking at the village in front of him curiously. Is this the village marked on the map? The whole stockade is not big, and you can see it at a glance from a high place. There are only a dozen households in total, and there are no more than fifty villagers in total. The stockade is located in a valley with a quiet environment. There is a clear stream flowing through the gate of the stockade, and it seems that the sound of waterfalls can be heard in the distance. Suddenly a small knife came flying toward Lu Xing, but he was able to detect it with his spiritual power and dodge it in time. Lu Xing turned around to look in the direction where it was fired from. It was a young man with another knife in his hand. He stared at Lu Xing while asking, Who are you and what do you want here? While Lu Xing was thinking about using his power to calm the young man down, he heard a voice. It was from the little girl Nan Nan, who was hiding inside bushes playing. She suddenly came out and shouted, Big Brother. The little girl rushed towards Lu Xing saying, Big Brother, Big Brother. Are you coming to Grandpa's house to play with Nan Nan? Lu Xing was stunned for a moment, but he didn't expect to meet Xiao Nan's family here. Soon after, Lu Xing saw a group of people walking towards him. Tang Maolin who was among them saw Lu Xing, who was carrying a mountaineering bag, and his face was full of astonishment and surprise, and his heart dropped heavily. It was him. He sighed softly. He thought it was Wu Shijing who came to the door so quickly. Boy, why did you come here? Tang Maolin took the initiative to step forward and ask Lu Xing. Lu Xing scratched his head embarrassedly and said, After you set off with the group, I felt a little better, so I thought about coming to you. I wanted to take a shortcut halfway, but I got lost unknowingly. A group of people had a surely so expression on their faces. It is not uncommon for tourists to get lost in the mountains. Lu Xing is not the first person to stumble into the village by mistake. After all, their Xianlin village is only remote not truly isolated from the world. Brother Tang, why are you here? Did you get lost too? Lu Xing asked curiously without blinking his eyes. Tang Maolin laughed and said, This is Nanan's grandfather's house. We come back every year to visit relatives. This time, we just went with a tour group. Lu Xing suddenly realized. Since it's such a coincidence, why don't we stay together for the night? Tang Maolin looked at the thin old man subconsciously. The old man narrowed his eyes slightly, looked Lu Xing up and down, nodded, and said, This young man's eyes are very pure, I like it very much. Xianlin village welcomes such guests. Tang Maolin and others suddenly showed smiles on their faces. The bronze youth grinned and opened his hands to Lu Xing. Foreigners welcome to the real Xianlin village. As a friend of Tang Maolin's family, and Xiao Nanan was particularly affectionate to him. Lu Xing was warmly welcomed into the stockade. You came by coincidence, just in time for the eldest sister's family to come back. Later, I will go to buy some games myself. People from the city like you have never tasted it. The young man with thick eyebrows, big eyes, and bronze complexion was particularly enthusiastic about Lu Xing, and when he came up, he put his arms around Lu Xing's shoulders with an affectionate attitude. Lu Xing learned from the chat. The young man's name is Gu Yu. He is the owner of Xianlin Village, the adopted son of the skinny old man, and the owner of this small village with less than fifty people. The thin old man's name is Gu Pingxia, and his mother is also the old man's adopted daughter, named Gu Minghua. 
This stockade is not easy. Lu Xing looked at Gu Yu and the others whose figures quickly disappeared into the forest, thinking silently in his heart. He sensed it as soon as he saw it. Gu Yu is a first-level spiritual teacher, and the old man Gu Ping Sha is a second level. In addition, Tang Maolin, the father of a second-level spiritual teacher, is also added. One, two, three in a small fairy forest village, there are actually three spiritual masters. This ratio is simply exaggerated. Lu Xing wanted to come up and asked if he could hire someone to help him deliver me, but when he saw this situation, he didn't know how to speak. Since he is a spiritual teacher, he naturally knows the value of mithril. He couldn't guarantee that in the face of such a large amount of wealth, these simple villagers would change their hearts. Moreover, Tang Maolin did not look simple at all. Just when Lu Xing was thinking about what to do, Xiao Nanan quickly ran to him and said to him aggrievedly, Big brother, Nanan's ball is gone. Lu Xing was stunned for a moment before realizing that Xiao Nanan was talking about the red plastic ball he played with before where is the ball? Bring the brother to see, and this brother will help you look for it. Lu Xing patted Xiao Nanan's little head and said softly, just while Lu Xing was talking with Xiao Nan, he sensed the aura of the two girls from the tour group Lin Zishan and Jing Dandan. He was confused as to why they came here as well. Just then, Lu Xing sensed some other auras from that direction. Xiao Nan Nan tilted her head and carefully recalled where she last saw her beloved red ball. Suddenly, Xiao Nan Nan pointed in one direction and jumped up happily. The ball of Nan Nan is there. The ball of Nan Nan is in that person's hand? Lu Xing turned his head. When he saw the scene in that direction clearly, the smile on his face began to converge little by little and finally returned to silence. Two girls were held captive, their body was trapped in spider webs, with their face covered. A strong was carrying both girls in his hand. The girls were Lin Zishan and Jing Dandan. Dan Dan tried to speak but she could let any sound out due to her face being covered. At this time, the originally lively and cheerful Xianlin village gradually became quiet everyone is looking in one direction. They saw that at the entrance of the village, a group of people was gradually approaching. The leader was a middle-aged man in a plaid suit. His eyes were eerily purple, and one hand was clutching a shriveled red plastic ball, the other drooping casually. Silver threads like cobwebs stretched out from the cuff of this hand. Tang Maolin's face became ugly and dignified, the thin old man also put down the burning tobacco stick in his hand, and his eyes slowly narrowed. Tang Maolin is the person you provoked, he is not just a simple rank 3 psychic. He is a peak rank 3 psychic master. Sayest the old man? The man looked like a monster in front of them. The old man instantly shouted Maolin take your family and villagers out of here. I will stall for time. Several long and narrow golden auras shot from a distance flew in an instant and went straight to the man in the strange suit. Wu Shijing was in no hurry, and a silver thread suddenly shot out from his cuff, hitting the golden auras violently. Purple threads and golden shadows intertwined in midair, and the speed was so dazzling that no one could see it clearly. Only the sound of clanging like swords colliding can be heard. It didn't take long for the long and narrow shadow to fall from the air and was knocked away by the silver wire. Almost at the same time, the thin old man standing beside Tang Mao and groaned in the distance, and the light in his eyes quickly dimmed. At this time, everyone could see clearly that the black shadow that was fighting with the silver lines turned out to be a dry smoke pole but it had been broken into several pieces at this time. Is this what you rely on? Tang Maolin Wu Shijing spoke softly, took a step forward, and appeared in the open space at the gate of the village in the blink of an eye, like teleportation. I thought there was something, but it turned out to be just a waste old man. The vain second-level spiritual power, the vulgar skills, and the four words of humiliating the spiritual teacher. Wu Shijing said disappointedly, Fine, this time I will crush all your hopes to smithereens. I will let you have a taste of true despair. Wu Shijing further said while releasing his psychic energy all around. Tang Maolin's face was ashen, 
and he snorted coldly. Wu Shijing, you deceive people too much. As he spoke, he raised his hand to form a hand symbol, and suddenly psychic energy rushed out from his body. He shook, and a large number of small black-brown iron beads flew out of his sleeves. Densely packed, it flew towards Wu Shijing like a net. Wu Shijing didn't even look at it, and stretched out a hand to Tang Maolin. The silver threads that bound the villagers suddenly retracted, then flew out of his cuffs and met the iron beads in clusters. The two collided, making a crisp sound. Iron beads kept being bounced out. In an instant, all the iron beads fell to the ground broken into several pieces under Wu Shijing's power. After witnessing Shijing's overwhelming power, Tang Maolin's face was pale, a lot of sweat rolled down from his forehead, and he stepped back step by step. My secret iron ball cannon turned out to be of no use at all, said Tang Maolin. Wu Shijing held one of the iron balls in his hand and said with a grin, How dare you compete with me using secret iron ball technique? He smirked with an evil smile on his face and released mythical cobwebs from his palms. You do not know the vastness of heaven and earth and want to challenge me? said Shijing. The cobweb instantly gathered around all the people present holding their bodies still in place. It even bound the little girl Xiao Nan's body. Tang Maolin turned his head with difficulty and squeezed out a sentence between his teeth. Wu Shijing, damn you! Come at me with whatever you got. What is the point of bullying a little girl? Tang Maolin was furious and his eyes were bloodshot. Wu Shijing could not bear but let out an evil laugh. Even at death's door, you are still so stubborn, said Shijing. Shijing moved his hand to control the cobwebs that were trapping everyone. It instantly tightens up on Maolin and Gu Pingxia's bodies, gripping their necks tightly. Wu Shijing pointed toward the two girls, saying, Originally I wanted to kill those two students and frame you for their murder. But I did not expect this place to be so secluded from the world. Perfect, I will take my time, said Wu Shijing. Shijing could not bear but let out his evil thoughts. I will take my time taking care of you and having fun. He glanced at Xiao Nan who was trembling due to fear and spoke, Don't worry, your daughter will be a perfect vessel. I will save a cup for you. After speaking he let out an evil laugh. Tang Maolin's eyes widened. He did not know that Xi Jing practiced such an evil technique. Is it that evil technique that uses people as wine vessels? He said subconsciously. Tang Maolin knew what the consequences of using such an evil technique on the victim were. He was furious and his eyes were bloodshot. He tried his best to break free from Xi Jing's cobweb, but it was too strong for him. Xi Jing let out an evil laugh showing his snake-like tongue. Yes, this is the despair that I want to see on your face for going against me, said Xi Jing. Lin Zishan was in a state of shock and panic. Her face was pale and she was lost. It's over. I'm afraid I'm going to throw my life on Nyoto Mountain this time. How could I be so unlucky to be involved in this dangerous whirlpool for no reason? Lin Zishan felt desperate and desolate in her heart, and regretted the decision to come to Natushin to relax. Spiritual Master This terrifying man like a devil in front of her turned out to be the legendary spiritual teacher. In the distance, Jing Dandan also opened his eyes wide. Her lips trembled as she read a name. Lu Xing the smile on the face of Wu Shijing bloomed more and more brilliantly, but his eyes gradually became colder. She could only think, I hope we can meet again in the next life, Lu Xin. Wu Shijing casually instructed the men behind him with a relaxed expression. Kill Tang Maolin's wife first and grab his daughter, and then deal with the rest. The two strong men in suits released Lin Zishan and Jing Dandan from their hands. The two men, on Xi Jing's order, moved toward the little girl. They instantly approached Xiao Nan, who was still trembling in fear. At this moment, the spider web holding Xiao Nan still got torn apart in an instant. Wu Xi Jing, who believed himself to be having utmost superiority in the situation, became confused. He did not imagine that someone would be able to tear his mithril web apart. Why did my mithril spider web break? Wu Xi Jing spoke. 
The mithril web can only be seen through psychic power. It was Lu Xing who tore apart the spider web with just his bodily strength. Xiao Nan, who had been trapped in the spider web, held on to Lu Xing's arm tightly. I can move again, big brother hurry and save mom and dad, said Xiao Nan. At this time, the two strong men had already reached them. Hurry and step aside. Let us take her. The two brawny men spoke arrogantly. Lu Xing casually punched both of them in their stomach, resulting in their bodies flying away. They could only let out their cries in pain. Wu Shijing, who was still confused about the broken spider webs, a sharp, air piercing sound like a cannonball ripping through the air. He turned his head sharply, and the pupils contracted in the next second. He saw in the reflection in his eyes, two burly bodies like broken sacks were rapidly enlarging, approaching extending to more than ten meters away. Two tattered, bloody bodies fell to the ground. These two are the brawny men in suits who were previously sent by Wu Shijing to kill Tang Maolin's wife and daughter. It's just that there is a deep fist mark left on the chest and abdomen. That almost pierced their bodies. Everyone looked dazed and confused. It's really impossible to connect everything that happened before with this thin and handsome young man in front of him. Obviously. He's just an ordinary, gentle, lost big boy. Just now, what happened? Level 5 warrior, said Wu Shijing. Wu Shijing stared at Lu Xing with an ugly face, and his eyes were full of shock. No, it's not level 5, the astral chi is not visible, and there is no internal energy. Wu Shijing quickly denied his guess, gritted his teeth, and said, So, how did you do it? Was it you who just broke my mithril spider silk? Tang Maolin, so this is your real support? Xi Jing glanced at Tang Maolin. Tang Maolin looked blank and didn't quite understand the meaning of Wu Xi Jing. Forget it, it doesn't matter. Wu Xi Jing took a deep breath and regained his composure. With a strange light flashing in his purple eyes, he walked towards the original position step by step. Without the Qi protection body, you are just a little weird boy. Under my dense silver spider silk, your fragile body will be cut open like butter. I can't wait to hear your pain howling sound. Xi Jing licked his lips and his expression became more and more perverted. Lu Xing's eyes were as bright as water, and he quietly looked at the middle-aged man in a suit with an indifferent look. You can try it. Lu Xing said casually. Xi Jing grinned, revealing scarlet gums. I hope you can be so proud when you die. In the next instant, a purple light flashed in his eyes. His body suddenly sprayed out nearly a hundred silver threads. It was twice as much as what was shown before. Hundreds of silver threads pierced the air and shot at Lu Xing. From an outsider's point of view, Wu Xijing at this time was like a spider demon in urban legends, who was about to choose someone to devour. But the next second, the smile of the middle-aged man in the suit froze on his face. In the face of hundreds of spider silks that were almost impossible to catch with the naked eye, Lu Xing just made a simple action. He calmly stretched out his right hand. The fair and slender right palm waved gently in the sunlight, following some kind of wonderful law. The palm seems to harbor a black hole vortex. Those silver thread spider silks that shot into Lu Xing's eyes were attracted by the vortex in his palm, and all belonged to Lu Xing's hands. In the distance, Lin Zishan, who witnessed this scene with her own eyes, suddenly trembled. Like an electric shock, his lips were trembling frantically. Control level. Control level martial arts. What is control? Between the palms, all will be controlled by the palm. Lin Zishan only once heard a teacher mention it in the university class at Dongning Wuhan University. Now that she saw this scene with her own eyes, this sentence popped into her mind inexplicably. It was as if something that was supposed to exist in a legend suddenly appeared alive in front of her. How could Lin Zishan not tremble with excitement? In the distance, Wu Shijing's suit made a voice that was so shocked that it was almost deformed. How can that be? His eyes widened, filled with disbelief. The power of a spiritual master is an existence that transcends ordinary warriors. 
Wu Shijing was madly urging his mental power, but he felt that there was an incomparably huge rock in front of him. No matter how hard he tried it was to no avail. It's impossible. Impossible. Shijing was talking nervously, his eyes full of bloodshot eyes, and the originally weird purple eyes became even more terrifying. The fair and slender five fingers slowly tightened, and Lu Xing stared coldly at the middle-aged man in a suit with an indifferent look. He tugged at the thread in his hand fiercely. Are you done talking? Wu Shijing's suit in the distance immediately let out an exclamation, like a doll whose strings were pulled, and flew towards him involuntarily. He danced wildly in midair. Why can he control my mithril spider web? Shijing could only think in confusion. Suddenly, he stopped, his eyes fixed on Lu Xing, and there was a strong madness in his eyes. If that's the case, let's just die together, said Xi Jing. Saying that, a terrifying spiritual force that far surpassed before burst out from Wu Xi Jing. There seemed to be invisible ripples spreading in the air. Gu Pingxia's expression changed greatly, and he shouted anxiously. Not good. He's going to explode his mental power. If you get too close, everyone will be shocked into idiots. After finishing speaking, he gritted his teeth and rushed in the direction of the beautiful woman and the little girl. Others followed suit. Lin Zishan tried her best to support her body to climb back, but Jing danned and yelled with a pale face, Lu Xing. What about Lu Xing? Everyone in the field felt their hearts suddenly burst as if a big stone suddenly pressed on them, and there was an indescribable discomfort. In a moment, everyone responded and retreated frantically. Only Lu Xing, who was at the center, remained motionless. He looked closer and closer, at the middle-aged man in a suit with distorted facial features, and there was a hint of deep pity on his face. I have to say, your mental power is really... It's pitifully weak. Lu Xing spoke softly. The next second, the twisted smile of the middle-aged man in the suit was frozen. Before his eyes. In everyone's sight. A round of golden sun rose. The afternoon sun shines through the gaps between the valleys and falls on the small village. It was as if Lu Xing had transformed into a golden sun and endless golden light was released from his body. This feeling does not exist on a visual level but on a spiritual level. Under this near-infinite golden light, the mental power of the middle-aged man in a suit erupted like snow under the sun. Lu Xing's dark eyes were burning with golden light. He, who was originally fair and handsome, showed a somewhat noble and mysterious temperament at this time. Just a moment to be submerged, extinguished, melted, vanished into nothingness the latter fell to the ground powerless. The pupils in his eyes are rapidly expanding, and there is still a trace of shock and incredible color on his face. Wu Shijing spurted out a stream of blood and knelt on the ground, his body swaying. I'm Wu Shijing, how could I die? When he died, he announced his name in front of Lu Xing. It's a pity that Lu Xing is not in a good mood now. He has already achieved perfect spear skills, and with the blessing of his powerful spiritual power, what a bad name Lu Xing vented his bad emotions on Xi Jing. This thing is pretty good, said Lu Xing. The silver thread spider silk on the ground is like a living thing in Lu Xing's hands. As Lu Xing started twisting the spider web in his palm, all the people trapped in the web got released. It's made by mithril, but it can be used for the time being. Although Lu Xing doesn't like a soft spiritual weapon like silver wire, if it is twisted into a gun shape like just now, it can still be used before the endless knife wheel is finished. At the level of Lu Xing's spiritual power, no weapon would be able to handle it completely. Xiao Nan hugged Lu Xing gently and spoke, Big brother, you were so awesome. Thank you for saving us. Lu Xing can only let out a gentle smile at her words. If it is said that the martial arts strength that Lu Xing has shown before is like throwing a bomb into the crowd, it shocked everyone's scalps. Then when his spiritual power is revealed, no less than a nuclear bomb, it directly clears everyone's mind, leaving a blank. Lu Xing is a spiritual master? How old is he? 
He looks like a high school student, 17 or 18 years old. Possessing a martial arts cultivation level comparable to a fifth-level martial artist and controlling martial arts is enough to be a monster. Now we have to add the identity of a spiritual master. And it is a spiritual teacher who can easily crush the third-level spiritual teacher Wu Shijing. Lin Zishan's eyes were round, and her eyeballs almost didn't protrude from her sockets. Jing Dandan's mouth was wide open, and his face was shocked and confused. That dazzling and majestic terrifying spiritual power is like a scorching sun. Even Wu Shijing's self-destructed spiritual power can be directly wiped out. Everything is beyond everyone's cognition, and the concepts of genius and evildoer in their minds are smashed, and they can't stick together. The most shocking is Lin Zishan and Jing Danden. Both of them are top students of Dongning Wuhan University. Tang Maolin maintained a forward stance, frozen in place, with a blank expression. Others are about the same. Tang Maolin opened his mouth but found that he didn't know how to address Lu Xing. Lu Xing walked forward placing his hands on Tang Maolin, calming him down. Brother Tang, you don't need to thank me. I only took care of an evil person. However, there is something that I would like your help with, said Lu Xing. Tang Maolin regained his senses and nodded solemnly. It is good. In order to avoid being criticized by the group, Lu Xing stayed at the for one night and took the earliest bus to leave the Ox Head Mountain scenic area the next morning. Lin Zishan and Jing Danden also followed. The bus speeds on the mountain road, the early morning sun shines through the window glass, and sprinkles on Lu Xing Jiao's good side face. Lu Xing stared at the rapidly passing scenery outside the window, thinking quietly in his heart. He has already handed over all matters concerning the mithril mine to Tang Maolin to help deal with it. Tang Maolin is the second-level official spiritual teacher who has passed the assessment, and there are special channels to properly handle this batch of dense silver mines. He said that he would sell these mithril mines as soon as possible, and then credit the proceeds to Lu Xing's account as soon as possible, in order to repay Lu Xing's life-saving grace. Lu Xing is not afraid that Tang Maolin will steal it. In general, this trip to Natushan is a successful completion of the task. Not only that, but Lu Xing also got an additional set of mithril-level spiritual weapons. The hundreds of spider silks were all made of mithril. Lu Xing had measured them, and it was about four or five pounds. It is still much easier for a spiritual teacher to obtain wealth than a general warrior. Wu Shijing is only a mere third level, and he can afford a secret silver level weapon, and there are two obedient fourth level warriors. But it also depends on the ability. Lu Xing sat in his seat and thought to himself. On the seat to his left, Qing Danden and Lin Zishan, Qian Zhao, were both looking at him. Especially Jing Danden, who has made no secret of his feelings for Lu Xing, looked at Lu Xing's profile, not knowing what he was thinking. Lu Sheng, where are you going next? Jing Danden suddenly asked. Lu Xing turned his head, and the sun shone from behind him, coating him with a faint golden glow. Liang Qing Lu Xing thought for a while and replied, I'll go there to do something. Dong Qing Xue told him that the Dongning Province Spiritualist Association was in Liang Qing, and he could only go there if he wanted to take the spiritual teacher assessment. Liang Qing? We belong to Liang Qing. Jing Danden blurted out, his face full of surprises. We can just go back together. Lu Xing glanced at the two of them suspiciously and said, Aren't you students from Dongning Wu University? You can't be the capital of Dongning province. Why are you going to Liangqing? Jing Danden thought for a while but she was speechless. Lin Zishan, who was next to her, glanced at her helplessly and said to help her, Danden's family is indeed from Liangqing. Before she came to Natushan, she told me that she wanted to go home by the way this time. Yes, I just want to go home. Jing Danden responded hurriedly. Okay then. Lu Xing smiled and nodded, then let's go together. I don't know a place in Liangqing, so I can ask you. It's okay to live in my house. Jing Danden looked surprised, and her pretty face was bright as if she had received a great deed. 
Liu Xing doesn't feel bad about Xing Danden. When Wu Shijing attacked before, Xing Danden was caught by Wu Shijing's men, and she had to remind himself to run quickly. This feeling is really hard to come by. And Jing Danden is not bad looking. Among the women Lu Xing had met, only Dong Qingxia was more beautiful than her little girls like Xia Lin Yang Yuan are not included. It's just that Jing Danden's personality is a little bit saucy, and she dresses up a little too much, which is something that Lu Xing doesn't like too much. What am I thinking? Is it really possible to fall in love with her? Lu Xing shook his head mockingly, dismissed his inner thoughts, and continued to look out the window. Lu Xing's phone suddenly rang. Lu Xing picked it up, and a cold voice came from the other end of the phone. Lu Xing, I'm Dong Qingxue. Lu Xing was stunned for a moment, and then replied, Hello, Instructor Dong, what are you looking for from me? Dong Qingxue's words were concise and to the point. The selection of Qiming generals has been advanced. Where are you now? I will pick you up immediately. Qiming general star selection ahead of schedule? Lu Xing was a little surprised but didn't say anything, so he reported his location in Chiu Ming City. Okay, I'll be there in about 15 minutes. Get ready. Dong Qingxue hung up the phone. Lu Xing put away his phone, his eyes twinkling slightly. Qiming made the star selection ahead of schedule. Looking at Dong Qingxue's tone, it seemed that it was about to start. In this case, his spiritual teacher assessment may have to be delayed. After some time, they arrived at Liancheng bus station. Lu Sheng, what's the matter? Do you have a friend coming to pick you up? Xing Danden looked at Lu Sheng suspiciously and had a bad premonition in his heart. Lu Sheng nodded and said apologetically, Yeah, there is something wrong, and I may not be able to go to Liancheng for the time being. Xing Danden's face showed undisguised disappointment, but he quickly recovered and said quickly, Where are you going? I'll have someone send you. No, thanks. Lu Xing shook his head and said, My friend will be here soon. All right. As Jing Danden was talking, she got interrupted by sudden voices. There were people coming and going on the platform. The roar of an engine from far to near resounded through the street, causing many people to crane their necks to watch. They saw a cool green supercar galloping from a distance and approaching quickly. What the oasis killer of the lion country, this car is worth more than ten million, said the passengers. The next second, the more than ten million supercars mentioned by the youth stopped in front of the bus stop, raising a large amount of dust and exhaust. The passers-by avoided one after another, but they dared not to speak out. The supercar door opened upwards, and two people stood up. There is a young man and a woman, all dressed in fashion, with the temperament of a rich second-generation son and daughter. Danden. Among them, the girl with big earrings and heavy makeup rushed towards Jing Danden excitedly. Wen Hui. You arrived so quickly. The young man sitting inside the car also waved at Jing Danden. Danden, long time no see, you seem to have become even more beautiful. The boy tried to flirt with Danden. He further said, Is that your friend? Aren't you going to introduce us? What are you doing here? Ching Danden let go of the hand that was holding the girl named Wen Hui and glanced at the yellow-haired youth with an unsightly expression. She didn't seem to like him, but she still introduced herself. This is Lin Zishan, my best friend in Dongning Wu, a second-level warrior. Ching Danden didn't know what to say when he introduced Lu Xing. To be honest, she didn't know Lu Xing's background or anything. And the mysterious and dazzling aspects of Lu Xing's body cannot be explained clearly in one or two sentences. This is Lu Xing, whom I met while traveling, my good friend. Xing Danden deliberately emphasized the words, good friend. It's a pity that the girl with big earrings and the yellow-haired youth didn't pay attention to this, and they all focused on Lin Zishan. Second-level martial artist, it's amazing. Hello, I'm also a good friend of Danden. My name is Su Wenwei. The girl with the big earring took the initiative to extend her right hand to Lin Zishan and said enthusiastically. The yellow-haired young man's eyes brightened when he heard that Lin Zishan was a second-level martial artist at Dongda University, 
and he introduced himself. My name is Chao Minglian, you are Dandan's friend, and you will be our friend in the future. As for Lu Xing, the two glanced at it and ignored it. Lu Xing didn't care, he looked down at his watch. Dong Qingxue said that she would be there in about fifteen minutes, and it was almost there. Xing Dandan chatted for a few words, and Chao Minglian, a young man with yellow hair, said hello, okay, let's go back to Liangqing and reminisce. He took out the key to unlock the car door, pointed to the cool sports car, and said with a smile, I just mentioned the Oasis Killer for a week, and it happens to be a four-seater, you say it's a coincidence. It is estimated that she knew that she was going to pick up two beauties today. Jing Dandan frowned as he stared at the back seat of the supercar. There are only two seats. Where does Lu Xing sit? Su Wenhui's eyes widened in surprise, and she didn't shy away from Lu Xing. She said directly, Dandan, are you still planning to bring him? Jing Dandan nodded, turned to Lu Xing, and said, Lu Xing, where are you going? We will send you first. No, I told my friend to pick me up. Lu Xing politely refused. What's the matter, Dandan? It's just a travel buddy you know. As for taking him so seriously, even Zishan has to give up his seat for him? Do you think he is handsome? Isn't this kind of handsome guy just grabbing a bunch of them? Su Wenhui said bluntly. Chao Mingliang was also displeased. That's right. Didn't he say that he has a friend to pick him up, so let him wait for his friend to take the bus with him? Just like this. Chao Mingliang took out a dozen banknotes from his pocket, threw it in front of Lu Xing, and said lightly, This money is enough for you to take a taxi to Liangqing. In Chao Mingliang's view, the friends of high school students, of course, can only be buses or taxis. Xing Dandan was so angry and anxious that she was speechless for a while. Lu Xing stared at the banknotes that Chao Mingliang sprinkled on the ground for a while. His eyes were a little strange. At this moment, there was a rumbling sound of propellers above everyone's heads. The sound was so loud that it was even accompanied by a gust of wind, blowing the banknotes on the ground everywhere. On the bus stop next to it, passers-by waiting for the bus looked at the sky and exclaimed. Several people looked up in surprise. They saw a super-large black helicopter hovering at a height of more than ten meters above the bus station, directly above them. The four characters of the eastern military region are also written on the fuselage of the helicopter. A beautiful and sassy officer in a dark blue school uniform stood beside the open door, leaned out halfway, and threw a long rope ladder from above. Lu Xing, come up quickly, we are still in a hurry, said Dong Qingxue. Lu Xing said hello to Dong Qingxue, then turned his head and smiled at Xing Dandan, Lin Zishan, Su Wenhui and Chao Mingliang who were confused and said, My friend has come to pick me up, I'll go first. See you next time. He instantly disappeared from their sight. After speaking, Lu Xing jumped, and the whole person turned into a cloud of smoke and quickly climbed up the helicopter along the cable ladder. Everyone present was shocked at what transpired in front of them. They could not believe their eyes. Before the door of the super-large helicopter closed, Lu Xing waved at them to say goodbyes. That's all for today. If you like the next part of this manhwa just comment below. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for getting epic content on this channel. See you next time.